Good morning everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Roma and today we are going to do another Mary Kay makeup look. And this one is another great one for the holiday season. It's called Evergreen. And these are the eye colors that we're going to be using. So if you love green eyeshadow, this is going to be amazing. So we've got Biscotti Gold Status Moss and Emerald Noir. Um, today what we're going to do is we're going to start with the cheeks because I <laughs> like to look at myself with a little bit of color. So we're going to start there. I wanted to feature, because I haven't shown you this yet, but this is actually our Pro Palette. It is amazing. So if you don't know how Mary Kay um, Chroma Fusion Color works, each color piece is in a little um, metal uh, tin and it actually magnetizes to your palette so whatever palette you're using so usually I use the perfect palette which is like this size um, but this is what our pro palette looks like so you can work this however you want you could have them go the other way you could have eyeshadows this one holds all my cheek and contour and highlight colors so today we are going to because we're gonna go with the warm uh, green look in our eyes we're going to use golden copper for our cheek color and I am going to use a contour and highlight so these are two contour colors at the end this is the latte that I typically use if you have darker colored skin than me you may want to use this one which is called Coco um, it does show up quite dark on my skin tone and then we've got two highlight colors as well Glazed is again the one that I normally use. If you have darker skin tone, you might want to use the Honey Glow or want a warmer look. So we'll start with that latte. I'm going to use the straight side of the brush. You can see where it sticks there. And we're just going to go underneath the cheekbone. You can see it looks quite dramatic at first, but we will blend it all in. And you can, this is really great if you have uh, gain that COVID weight. <laughs> so it will narrow out your face. It will uh, make it look like your face is a little bit narrower than it currently is. Let me tell you. So we're going to take the highlight color just on the longest uh, bristles of your brush. So kind of in that, on that top bit of the curve that is going to go above just along the cheekbone. And then the color itself, I'm going to be using Golden Copper today. It looks really dark, but it's actually super, super pretty. And this I'm going to put like right on the rounded part. And this is going to go right on the apples of our cheeks. And then I'm going to blend it all together and into the hairline. So you can see not too, not as scary as it looks in the palette, right? There, so now I've got some color on my face. I feel a little bit better. And for our eye colors today, I'm using our Petite palette. So this is our smallest palette that holds four eyeshadows. It's got the cute little window. It's great if you like to have that look on the go. This is a super, super easy look. So see how these go lightest to uh, most color here. What I'm gonna do is just simply do vertical stripes and then we're gonna blend it in. So I'm gonna use our all over eyeshadow blush for, uh, brush for all of these. I'm gonna start with the Biscotti and this is gonna go on the inner corner of the eye. I will take this up along the brow bone just to provide some highlight up top. But essentially this is going to be our first vertical stripe. Do the same on the other side. Then we'll take the gold status. <clears throat> this is the next vertical stripe. So you've got four colors. You kind of want this one to go right to the middle of the eye. And then we're gonna take moss. This is a super pretty color. Love this. It's like got brown bits in it, so greeny brown. This is our third stripe. If you've not used eyeshadow this way, it is super simple. 
Then we're gonna take the Emerald Noir. This is also a super pretty color. Really great if your eyes are hazel color or brown color. And this is going to go in the outer corner. Now it looks a little bit dark right now, but we are going to blend. So we've got our four colors on. We're just simply going to blend and I'm gonna blend from the outside in because I feel like I've gone far enough on the outside. Isn't that pretty? It does totally just work together. Um, I am going to use our liquid eyeliner pen just to line our top lash line. And our Lash Intensity Mascara. So I want a fair bit of volume with this look. Even though there's a lot of color in there, it's not a loud look at all. Here's my lashes. And again, with the lash intensity, you could layer this on and it would just bring your lashes out even more. You know what happened the other day? And it happens quite often with me, I don't know about you. Right after I put on mascara, I sneeze. It's a disaster. If you do get mascara dots on your skin or you sneeze, best thing to do with Mary Kay mascara, just so you know, is to let it dry completely. So like give it like three minutes, take a dry Q-tip and just twist off from your skin. Totally works, not even kidding. Okay, and then we are going to keep our lips rather subtle. Uh, we're going to use our Chocolate uh, True Dimensions lipstick. If you have a Mary Kay lipstick like this and you're not sure how it opens, Push down the top, pull off the lid, and then you can spin it up. So Chocolate is pretty neutral. Um, the other thing about these True Dimensions lipstick, super moisturizing. So if you like that sort of feeling of butter on your lips or you have dry lips, you may want to consider this. And there you have it, nice soft lip. And that is our evergreen look today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you had fun.